on guys welcome back to the nerd militia where we read comic books and the dope today we're talking about the death in the family specifically this death in the family now if you've seen bvs i'm sure you might have uh watched the actual like anime animation version of this book um i think they did it under the red hood and i think they did eventually do like a choose your own destiny type thing for death in the family but this is what all those are based on. Now, I know we all get cu caught up in the death of Jason Todd in this book, which is understandable. It's kind of a big thing. But we need to talk about the absolute ridiculousness of this book and the gems of absolute Joker madness that goes into this. This book right here kind of solidifies the deal of who the Joker is. And with this, this book helps me say that Although jo Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger, what they did with the Joker was awesome. It's nowhere near who the Joker truly is in comic books. This is a canon book. Although it's in uh, paper trade form, it was actually an arc in the Batman story. Like this happened, it's canon, this is who these characters are. And the Joker is never more, or he's the most Joker in this book. Oh. Let's jump into this, guys, and let's make some content. Guys, we dive in this book, and we're with Batman and Robin, and Batman's noticed some things about his Robin. Jason Todd is super aggressive. He doesn't think twice, and he's rash. I mean, he's making mistakes all over this, all, well, all over the place. And this leads Bruce and Alfred feeling some kind of way. It, it, it gets so bad that it leads to Batman, like, benching Jason. He's like, hey, Look, maybe I put you on the field too soon. We need to scale back and uh, think about and like just clear your head. And you know, Jason, he 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 bratly agrees to this. I mean, he does feel some kind of way, but this allows him to kind of go back to his roots. Now, this book is nothing if not drama. Like it is truly drama to the next level. Because not only are we going to cover Jason's Jason Todd's death. But we're gonna cover Jason Todd's maternity on some Maury stuff right now. Okay, so basically this leads to Jason Todd going back to where he grew up and stumbling upon his old birth certificate and he notices that his mother is not his mother. Like he noticed the name that's written down, it's not the lady he grew up with, it's some other lady's name, which leads him to three women it could possibly be. So he takes his birth certificate, he goes and uses the back computer, like Bruce's back computer, and he puts down the first name in the letter S, and like I guess he runs comparisons to like women who were around Gotham with these initials and names and could have possibly be involved with the two ton gang or two faces gang, right? And it leads him to three names. Also, one of those women is the original Lady Shiva, who because, who is uh, Cassandra Kane's mom. Look, I think this is an absolute missed opportunity, and if they could ret retcon anything, it should be this. I mean, honestly, Jason being the illegitimate son to Lady Shiva and also the brother to Cassandra Kane would be amazing. It'd be one hell of a twist, like, I mean, I, I'm on the boat that Jason deserves better and more, and I think this could be a start. So there's two other women um, that could be Jason Todd's mom, and like I said, no, or if I didn't say Lady Lady Shiva is not his mom, I just I'm just saying that would be cool. Um, he ends up tracking his mom down to Ethiopia, and she is working at some like medical unit, and and, and that's freaking dude. She's she's doing a good thing. However, it leads her to start buying. Um, illegally uh, acquired like health drugs. Okay, so side note. Let's let's step back. Joker. <laughs> so during all this, while you know Bruce Wayne is benching Jason Todd, and Jason Todd is going home and figuring out that he is not the son of uh, Catherine Todd, um, the Joker has broken out of prison again, and. This is what makes Joker Joker. This guy breaks out of prison, he's broke. But he happens to have like freaking old warheads and my man Joker's like, hey, I'm broke. 
So I need to sell these warheads so I can get money. But also, I got a new plan. I'm not just gonna go around slapping people in the face with bomb pies. No, I am going to be an international UN delegate. I'm gonna have diplomatical, or diplomatical, diplomatic immunity so I can do shit and Batman can't touch me. It will be the most hilarious joke of all time. Like, I, I'm sorry guys, and this is kind of ranty, but, but Joaquin Phoenix Joker doesn't do this. Okay, Heath Ledger's Joker doesn't do this. All right, this is some stuff that Nicholson's Joker does or 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 freaking Jared Leto does. Like, he's hilarious, but he's still this insane mother humper who will effing kill you. Joker goes, takes off, and he goes to Iran, but this also coincides with Jason Todd and Batman, who are on a joint mission, uh, looking for Todd's mom, uh, a real mom, and his plans get foiled. This leads them both traveling to Africa, or in Ethiopia, and um, Joker traveling, because he's like, all right, well, that that plan failed. The bat stopped me somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal this caravan, caravan of like good drugs that people need, and I'm gonna sell it on the black market and I'm gonna sell it in Ethiopia, which just so happens to be where Jason Todd's going with Batman to find his mom in Ethiopia. Now we're caught up. <laughs> so, now that we're caught up, guys, this is where shit gets super real. So Jason Todd does in fact find his mom, okay? <sighs> so again, Joker's plan is absolutely ridiculous. Jason Todd finds his mom. It's, it's a heart. Uh, she loves him again. She's like, oh, I, I've, I've missed you. I had to leave because I was really working for the CIA. Or and Jason Todd's like, yo, the drugs you're buying to help these people are from the Joker. Like, he is a criminal. Like, we, you, you can't do this. P.S. Mom, I'm Robin. And so his mom is like, oh, snap, you're Robin. This is freaking crazy. We got to talk about this. You know what? I know a place where we could go talk. P.S. I'm paraphrasing here. <laughs> He's like, all right, cool, we want to meet. She takes him to this warehouse and it's a setup. His mom that he's been searching for from Iran to Africa sets him up to be murdered by the Joker. And while the Joker's like having a field day with Jason Todd's body and beating them and stuff, this lady takes out a freaking cigarette and just smokes it as her son's being beaten to death. And if you're like, hey, Vex, where the hell is Batman? Well, during this, when they figured out his plan, Batman's like, well, I guess I gotta go stop these drugs because they could be tainted with the Joker toxin, which they are, because Joker's a crazy mother humper. Um, he stops those, and then, but while he's gonna stop that, he's telling Jason, hey, don't go off, because, you know, you don't, I don't want you trying to get the Joker alone. He is very capable of killing you. Um, and that's how we end up in this predicament, because he goes to meet with his mom, and his mom takes it to a setup, now we're here. That's why Batman's not here. So, the Joker's just beating him. The mom's doing, just smoking while her son's getting beaten. Not a care in the world because in her head, I mean, like she just met this kid, Jason, and she's been working, I guess, on vaccinating these people of Ethiopia for some time. And this is more important to her than Jason. Cool. After the Joker's done beating him, he takes her and ties her up and he's like, well, I'm gonna kill you too. And there's a bomb in this warehouse, PS, so good luck. Batman's rushing to get back to Jason Todd. The countdown is going, Jason Todd gets loose, and then with his last amount of strength, he absolutely tries to save the mom who has betrayed him, and he jumps. I mean, not, it's not, not heroic, but it's pretty dumb because it is a bomb. There's no jumping on this thing, but he jumps onto the bomb, trying to save the mother who betrayed him for Joker and dies. This is how Jason Todd dies now i'm gonna stop right here and then maybe i'll continue the rest of the story and because like i said this story is freaking gold and it's not just about how jason todd dies but it's the joker's plan and whether or not he succeeds in that so in part two we're going to talk more about that but i need you to understand this if you've ever found yourself while wow, watching watching under the red hood or if you found yourself watching um death in the family and like you're like wondering like, oh man, I mean, I know he killed him, but like, this is super extreme. I mean, death is not extreme. I, mean, I guess you could go get your revenge. But if you're wondering why this is so deep, let this sink in. Cause neither of these movies include that little tidbit. 
Jason Todd, who is from the slums of Gotham, has like risen up and become Robin, right? After he becomes Robin, Bruce thinks he's like freaking too good at his job and he's not taking time to think about consequences. So he has Robin like stripped away from him, right? From the man that he's supposed to be raising him, his father, he's been, I guess, chastised and he's had the R ripped from his chest. While doing some soul searching, he finds out that he is not who he is, so he's gotta figure out who he is. And he finds out that his mother could be three people. And after a long time searching, he finds his mother who betrays him, it's five things, for Joker. Betrays him for Joker. This is the mom he's been looking for. He loves her innately. And the last thing he does in his life the absolute last thing he does in his life is try to save the woman who almost got him killed. Or did get him killed. This is why, I mean, add on top that he died, but this is why Jason Todd hates the Joker. Like, this is why when he comes back in Red Hood, he has to kill him. Like, and if you're wondering, like, oh my god, why won't this guy just listen to Batman and not kill the Joker? This is why! He took his mother away from him twice. Not only in her decision to choose Joker over him, but also in killing her. Boom! Now let's take a deep look at the Joker. This guy breaks out of prison. He realizes he has no money in order to get money so that he could run for a seat at the UN and become a UN diplomat and have diplomatic immunity and he could go create chaos and and Batman won't be able to touch him. He's like, I need this money, so let me sell these warheads. He, he doesn't see succeed. He doesn't he doesn't succeed in selling those warheads. However, however, he does an audible and he gets some drugs that people really need in Ethiopia and he sells those drugs to the highest bidder. He gets the money and in part two, we'll discuss whether or not he actually gets an F and C in the UN, like this comic book. Guys, again, I know we're always focusing on Jason Todd's death, but this comic book is mad hilarious and it's just so redonkulous. Like this happened, this happened. And I know Jason Todd dies, but there's so many other things that happens in this book that makes it so, chef's kiss it's 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 great a, a brilliant a brilliantly written joker i i, I must said so look out for part two <laughs> look out for part two and we'll jump into this if you guys want like your own copy of this uh trade or i do have the like the original issues are just up there <sighs> um but if you do want your own original issues i will put the link down and you guys can get it uh where you guys can get it you guys can get it and you guys can read it and uh we could like look at this together kind of read along and like just laugh at the absolute craziness that is death in the family <sighs> it's freaking bonkers guys but um as usual guys thanks for stopping by don't forget to like and subscribe guys um i got to a thousand subscribers so Thank you so much, guys, for being super awesome and helping me get there. Um, here's to the next 1,000, man. Um, I feel like maybe the next thing video, I should probably do like a giveaway for that. I, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And as usual, uh, stay excellent.